So my daughter Ainsley was born in uh, June 2004. I'm sorry, August 2004. Um, we received her diagnosis the following year, um, June 2005. And um, at that time, it was, you know, it was basically a different world back then. Um, you know, it was 14 years ago and Angelman was considered a, an untreatable, uncurable um, genetic disorder. So we were given at time of diagnosis, a long, very long list of all the things that she would not be able to do. And we were told that there was no hope she would ever be able to do those things. And um, basically sent home with some information to get her set up on some you know, palliative therapies. Um, so after digesting that for, you know, about another year, um, I became very interested in um, research and the knowledge base behind the disorder, because it just didn't make sense to me that there would be no hope of developing a treatment for this. Um, Angelman syndrome is non-progressive, it's not fatal, um, so that, you know, those two things just weren't really comporting with me. So I had no background in uh, you know, genetics or biology, but I was luckily lucky to identify a group of like-minded parents and we would um, chat via online groups um, about what was known about the disorder, what research was currently being done. And I was frustrated by the lack of uh, focus on translational research, um, research that could eventually help these children living with this disorder. So in 2008, on my daughter's fourth birthday, um, I started the Foundation for Angelman Syndrome Therapeutics because I wanted to raise money specifically um, for translational research. I wanted to focus on developing treatments for this disorder and eventually um, a cure. So that's how the Foundation for Angelman Syndrome Therapeutics came to be. Um, like I said, I was very fortunate to um, have met a group of very um, well-educated, intelligent parents and some scientists that were equally excited to do that type of, of research. And that's how we launched the organization.